That's the kind of beat that go ra ta ta ra ta 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 ta. Missy Elliott. Sex musical gonna say blah blah blah. Best line. She's so good. Lyrical genius. Lose control. Lose control. Um, the cookbook. Pass that Dutch. The cookbook. I love um, one of my the, the um the meltdown. Ooh, uh, the meltdown. It's this uh, nasty sexy lyrics. Um, nasty sexy lyrics. I wish I knew what them they were. Tempo. Oh, I love tempo. I'm really hot. Uh huh. I'm really, really hot every time I work. The, oh my god! Show the jiggle, DJs how I shake my breasts. Yeah. Um. <sighs> uh, there was some. There was some kind of um. Uh, some kind of dripping down her kitty, kitty litter, kitty litter. Down my kitty litter. Damn. Juice is run. Juice is running down. Juice is running down a river slowly down my kitty litter. Meow. She's amazing. Meow. Go- Missy, misdemeanor, Ellie. Gossip, yeah. folks. It's her. She's when fun, I walk yeah. up in this piece. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. I'm a bad member, Gemma. God damn it, motherfucker. You ain't got it like me. <laughs> the blow up suit. Also, her uh, music video is always uh, uh, ahead of their time. Girl. Showstopper. Her videos. Mm-hmm. The work it video that opens with her at a turntable with real bees all over her. Mm. Yeah. So wild. <laughs> the inflatable suit. Which I've been trying to get in drag with with cold air. No, girl. Oh, hello. This is the tea. I heard that the other drag tours now have our little air conditioned condos. I think we invented it. I think that we've been blazing a trail. All it took was <laughs> a legit tirade from you, girl. I love. Can I say? I, I think. I think with people who work with us, I have the reputation of being a cunt. But I love. I don't know. Compared to the two of us, I yeah, think you're not the like, nice one. Trixie's gonna be you're the demanding the nice one. one. Yeah, yeah. But I love. When you lay down the gauntlet, I love when something air conditioning or scheduling or hotel or transport related goes south. And instead of me having to say something, I love when you, <clears throat> is this on? <laughs> flop, 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 flop. I You're l- fine. You can choke. <laughs> yeah. I love because when you speak just mm. now, we had to call a, ma- call a manager. I, when you make the call, I'm always like. Oh, I just, okay. Well, I feel like whenever it's a big ask, I'm like, can you ask? <laughs> because, well, because I always feel like there's a looming threat of like self harm that will verge on death with me. Totally. It's like, I'm like, I'm like, do you want, you want blood on your hands? hundred <laughs> percent. Whereas me, they're like, she's being a greedy cunt. Yeah, she's being a greedy or, cunt. Yeah. We've like, she asked her front loader schedule. Like, blah, 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 yeah, she yeah. demanded that we triple stack her schedule with <laughs> yeah. gigs and now she's complaining. Yeah, yeah. Whereas with you, everything is like, Hey, can you get the, uh, can you fix the air conditioning of the venue or else? <laughs> Do you want blood on your hands? You it's literally that. you got two choices. <laughs> Warm room with tons of blood yeah. or. Yeah. Well, when they've got you, they're yeah. like, well, she doesn't have this uh, greed or ambition. So if we don't make the conditions right, she just won't do it. Yeah. There are no stakes here. Whereas with me, it's like, what's the paycheck? She'll do it. <laughs> what is it? Covered in blood, drinking gravy, chugging piss? She'll do it. <laughs> I, yeah, the, I mean, I don't, uh, yeah. Well, there's just certain times where it's like, um, it, it feels appropriate to overreact. A hundred percent. You know? And because also like, if you don't let people know how you feel, they're not going to know. Yes. Like that's, nobody's a mind reader. Everybody's out boop, 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 to their own little world, to their own little song, to their own little uh, field of vision. Yeah. And if you don't let people know, especially where it's like, like in a situation like that, where the, the, the assumption is that we're all on the, we're in the high of our lives and there's a huge achievement at Radio City. You know what I mean? That's the assumption. It, it's, it's party time. Yeah. But it wasn't for me. Do you know what I mean? Like it wasn't party time no. for me. It was, it I was remember, horrible. Girl, I was down the hall in the reception area with Vanessa Williams and she was like, it was great out there for us. The air conditioning was perfect. Yeah. And she was like, I'd like to meet Katya. And I was like, I don't think now's a good time. <laughs> I, I didn't get to meet. A good time. I didn't get to meet. There were, were major tragedies for me that night. Yeah. I didn't get to meet um, G. Lori Cooper. That was I huge. can't believe we didn't get to meet that was G. Lori a Cooper. Huge, that was a huge disappointment. Yeah. Also, I know that there were like, there was like a stars in the green room and whatever. And I was like, I, um, we missed it. We, I missed it. And I felt, I didn't feel bad in the moment. I felt bad later, of course. But I, I like, uh, got so upset. I had to almost cry because I had to get my point across. No, I, I like, know. Like I know. If I, over, if I underplay it, that's not good. I can yeah. overdo it. And then it'll definitely yeah, get the you point better across. Do mommy dearest when she's yes. like, I think you're overreacting. And she goes, yes. and I think you're underreacting. There you go. Yeah. I was like, um, and uh, yeah, yeah, you know, because it was like just so crazy. Anyways, um, I don't overreact, 
but I would say sometimes I react immediately, which, which is I think is good. No, sometimes it's the next day judgment. I wake up and I'm like, oh, that text could have been a little nicer. Oh, I see what you mean. In the moment, if I'm like overheated or something, of I'm like, pen. hi, it's Trixie. Mm. Can everybody blank, blankety, blank, blank, blank? Okay. Thanks. And the next oh. day I'm like, oh, I probably could have attached a rainbow emoji or something oh, to that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. With, with, with writing or text or anything in print where it lives forever. Yeah. You want to be editing is the key. Yeah. Like wait, wait on it. But I had, I was, um, I... Uh, started rehearsing the tirade in my head before intermission. On stage. Before intermission. No. Before intermission. Because when once I started, um, once I started to realize that my makeup was never going to be in a a, a state, acceptable state. acceptable state to be on like the uh, this milestone professional achievement. Uh huh. Um, I was like, okay, this is like untenable. Like we can't. I was like, no, I'm going to call like a uh, FEMA. It's like um Hurricane Katrina type yeah. of like. Uh, crisis management, uh, emergency. It's just, and it's also not what you imagined for the moment. No. Like you. And also a, I didn't, like I didn't show up on crack. No. Like that's, that was the big one for me. Cause I was I like, did. I, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, if I had been on crack, I wouldn't have called the meeting cause I wouldn't have a right to. Oh, you know so you I mean? wouldn't have cared so much about the air conditioning. No, I mean, you I would have been like, oh, it's probably just me. No, that's what I'm saying. It's like, I'd be like, oh, uh, don't worry. It's like sweat, sweat, You're sweating. Sweat, you'd be sweat. like, I don't think it's hot at all. <laughs> yeah. I actually think it's quite comfortable. <laughs> and everything's normal. I think we should do another show. <laughs> what? God, I'm a, little, I'm a little too dry. Oh, uh, no, the difference is you'd be having the tirade in a room alone. Yes. No one would be in there. Eden would be cowering in the corner. And you'd be like, and another thing. <laughs> Bitch, <laughs> she'd have to be putting on different masks of different presidents so I get an audience yeah. so you can play off her. And you know that that night was so funny well, too because Vanessa was like, "Reno City Hall sold out. That's a big deal, you know." Yeah. And Vanessa is like a native New Yorker, so I was like, "Oh, right. really?" Yeah. And I was like, was she well, have you, I was like, "Have you played here?" And she was like, "No, no, no, no." She's like, "Just the Grammys and the Tonys." And I was like, "Oh, <laughs> just the Grammys and the Tonys." Do you feel weird having big famous friends like that? These large titans of industry, these women of incredible acclaim and. Only when I remember like, oh, that person is attached to this core memory I have of them singing like this song. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Mel B, I'm like, oh, oh, that's, 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 that's a that's, Spice Girl. It's like if Victoria Beckham walked into this into this thing, I'd be like, <gasps> yeah. But I, I forgot about, I, not I forgot about it, but I got over it in five minutes. Oh, yeah. And then now, like when I was just watching Queen of the Universe, I was like, that's Mel B. That's my first CD was Spice World. Wow. With her on it. And now, yeah, it's crazy. It's just she moments from like Leeds? that. I believe, yeah. Leeds, yeah. Leeds. Fucking Leeds. Fucking hell. She loves it. We're oh. talking about a neighbor who made a comment. Sure. Oh, thank oh, yeah, you, yeah, Tracy. Okay. So now, so going back, we left, I think we. Can we show them, by the way, how you prompt us? Yeah, please. This is please, our please. high tech way for them to yeah, signal us. This is us. the control room. This is the control room. By the way, I started watching that um, a limited series on Netflix about the disaster, the, the tsunami in the, Japan. This is what we get. Do you want to talk about your neighbor who made a comment? Yeah, and I noticed the six porn tabs open. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so d d there's a there's a, a woman. Yeah, there's a woman. Beautiful, kind woman. Yes, lovely um, woman. Absolutely. I don't know how to say this diplomatically. Um, With big jangly um, titties? No, she's oh. probably in her 50s maybe. And she is What's just absolutely unbelievably beautiful. Oh, because you think it's unbelievable for a woman in her 50s to be beautiful. Well, I don't want to say that a woman's age is relevant, but I also think if we're talking about innate beauty, mentioning that if we're 50 years in and she looks, you can't cheat that. That's just a beautiful person. If aging isn't really touching you, it's working with you, okay. you're doing good, right? If not, you're doing something. You're, you're disgusting. Sinning. You're yeah, sinning. You're sinning. <laughs> She I bumped into her and uh, she was always very nice. And I, she saw me in drag the other day too. And she was like, I like your outfit. And I said, thank you. And she was like, um, she was like, did, did you end up selling the unit? And I was like, no, I still live there. So I said, I, I love the unit. I don't want to let it go. And she was like, um, she was like, yeah. She's like, you look good. I said, thanks. She was like, you lost weight. And I was like, yeah, I, I said, I haven't been drinking and I still love running. So she was like, no, you lost a lot of weight. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And then she goes, sexy <laughs> and i said okay she's like you look good and i was like thanks she, and she reached a, into your pants and no, started no. to jerk you off no but like a woman i barely know to be like not just stopping me to yell something mm. hey to the folks yeah yeah she was like we're doing eye contact she's like yeah no you look good. can i ask something and I, i'm sure she was joking but it came out so funny because it's 
my neighbor who I barely know is like, no, you look sexy. I was like, all right, can work ask, neighbor. Can I ask a detail? Is she Asian by chance? She is. Yeah. Because Andrew was saying, and I don't know if this is true, obviously, and Andrew doesn't speak for all Asian people, but um, he says that in um, for, for Chinese like custom, it's like, is different differs from American um, politeness and custom that in that like, like, oh, you gained a lot of weight. Mm. Like it's like immediately commenting on weight, like if friends, family, whatever, is not as um, gauche and yeah. like unacceptable as it is here. Right. Because that's very inappropriate if you were like, oh, you're, so, you're fat now. Oh, it was all compliments. I was yeah, yeah. very. But I was same thing. It was like, like, that's like kind of jarring to me. No, <laughs> they've all seen. Looking. The thing is, I'm in drag so much that they've all seen me in this building. Do they've seen me take the trash out and drag in this building? They've seen me get the mail. I need you to picture. I need. I wish this is the only time in my life I wish a reality TV camera was following me around as I made my exit from the plaza, in covered in sweat, uh -huh. with my ruby slippers on, with an IKEA bag filled to the brim with crap. <sighs> Changing into my flip flops in the alley by the dumpster and then walking to my car three blocks yeah. in the dead of night looking like Miss Twirlina Phuket. <laughs> <laughs> Miss I, Twirl Twirlina I not, Pukilera. I was like, this is that's when I really got the the flashback um time warp Jacques thing. I was like, I was like, this, and this then would I was, be the witching hour. I normally. was waiting at the intersection. Cars were passing. And I was like, you're in drag by yourself, carrying an Ikea bag, carrying an Ikea bag that was filled to the brim with shit filled. And I was, I had my flannel on a red mini skirt. Were you in drag? Uh-huh. You had a flannel on. Uh-huh. Why? Oh, because I didn't want my breasts exposed. Like, cause you're I had an, my body a, on. I had my body on. So, so you had the dress off. I had a, a, so you had a red drag? mini skirt, a red mini skirt on. A flannel, an oversized flannel. Boyfriend, Are you Daria? Like a, boy, a boyfriend flannel. <laughs> Who's then, boyfriend? Exactly. Who's boyfriend? Exactly, I don't know. And then I changed into my flip flops, thank God, because I had the, the good sense to do it. But I was in the alley by the dumpster and I was like, this could go wrong. This like, is this, this is could the, go this wrong. This is the first chapter of a very dark night. Yeah, I was like, this is like, I know who I am. I know what I have. I know what I deserve. But this is something d different. This is the universe queuing me up. Yeah, yeah. This like, is something different. Like this, no matter who you are, this could go badly. Hi, it's Trixie and Katya. We are doing a live Bald and the Beautiful at Just for Laughs on Thursday, July 27th, and tickets are available now. Get yours at montreal.hahaha.com. That's montreal.hahaha.com. Uh, speaking of all that, I have to show you this fucking crazy thing. I said to, uh, <laughs> I love Heidi in Closet so much, and I love following Drag Race Queen's Twitter behavior. And oh, yeah. she posted something like um, about being eliminated from Drag Race. And I just have to troll. It's who I am. I have to get involved. When was she eliminated? She, from the, she, uh, oh, from the oh, new she quit. season. She quit. Yes. She quit. She, she really, resigned. Yes, yeah, she quit. She quit. Um, I have to find the real tweet. I'm going to make you While you do it. that, I'm going to say, oh, say, can you see? Okay. But. So. Her tweet was, sometimes you got to have a conversation with your loved ones to remind you how booked and blessed and highly favored you are. The lying is a trigger of mine. I've honestly got too much good in my life to let that distract me. Happy Pride, especially everyone in Bergen, Norway. <laughs> and I said, what the fuck? and I said, it just made me laugh. And I said, it's time for you to own your truth and clear the air and occupy your space and step into the light and return to you and become who you've always been, but also evolve into the new you with absolute clarity and confidence in who you are. And at the end of the day, life is short and you know who you are because of what you present through all the bullshit and drama. <laughs> And I thought it was like a funny response, love. but the comments are so earnest. Cynthia Lee Fontaine was like, thanks, my love. Well said. But also, you did not use any punctuation marks in this post. Oh, my God. I, you know, that's happened to me where like. Cynthia's where, like, like you, I'm yeah, okay with run on yeah, sentences, but yeah. I would appreciate a few commas, maybe, you know, like, give me something. Yeah. I, the sentiment I enjoyed. The the lack of punctuation hurt me. Huge problem for me. <laughs> yeah. Please apologize, mom. Huge issue. <laughs> yeah. I've um I've uh I've noticed as well that there are perhaps sometimes sometimes a Rue alumna will um uh, certain levels of irony may be lost on them um in terms of um tone or whatever you mean ninety five percent of them <laughs> especially in the written word you know if if you were to make a post I where love you're not, when somebody's currently on Drag Race and they yeah. tweet like oh mama it all gets back to me all will be revealed. <laughs> 
You're like, we have a parking ticket? Like, what are you talking about? I also love when it's vaguely religious. Oh, I love when it's like, the good Lord knows that I have ears everywhere and I will air the building. And you're like, are you fumigating now? <laughs> you're like, you air the building. All the insects I will come out of the woodwork once this termite busting queen does her gassing. Girl, I have the angels on my side. Yes. You're like, the angels? The angels? The angles? I have the, you don't even have the angles so on your crazy. side. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. It's so, but I mean, I remember it's a I, vulnerable spot to be in when you're on television for the first time and it's all unclear. And there's a, there's a rampant rabid discourse unfurling on social media. Uh, you're like, on the biggest show in the world. Drag well, Race is one of the biggest competition shows in the world. For a drag queen. Yeah. So even if you, no matter who you are, you're yeah. opening yourself up to everybody talking about you. Yeah. And, yeah. I, but I just have to make. I had I had to post because I just, uh, the Bergen Norway funny. is hysterical. It's so it's funny so, to me. So, it's like Christopher Guest. It's Bergen like, Norway. That's right out of a Christopher Guest movie. I that read like, it and like had to triple take. <laughs> like sometimes I'm at the airport and I'm thinking like maybe I didn't sleep enough or maybe I popped a goofball or maybe I'm not reading this right. But this Drag Race Girl Twitter is so devoid of irony, self awareness. It's insane, and I can't not poke the bear. Sometimes I can't. Not. I know. Because it, 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 sometimes it's so, like, it it, it, it uh, straddles a line. Because, you know, sometimes those movies, like, like Catherine O'Hare is really good at this. Like, you're like, is she joking or is she serious? Like, uh, many people wouldn't know that it's a joke even. Right. You know? Midnight at the Oasis. I know. No, it's these like, drag queens are doing, they're doing. Um, unintentional comedy. They're doing the rehearsal. Yes. They're with, doing. Um, unint- um, what's his name? Na- uh, Nathan, Nathan. Nathan. Nathan for you. What's his last name? Nathan. Um Fielder. Fielder, yeah, Nathan Fielder. They're doing Nathan Fielder and they don't know it. They, unintentional comedy. I love Nathan Unintent- Fielder. Oh yeah, it's crazy. Inventive, Cra- crazy, fearless. Have you seen and the possibly insane? Have I you love seen him the so Houdini much. one where like if he doesn't do this, if he doesn't get these handcuffs off, his pants are gonna drop in front of a school zone. <laughs> no, I only watched the rehearsal. Oh, you which gotta watch Nathan for oh Nathan for you the grand boy the grandson's piss, drinking my grandson's piss. You can't find TV like this. I you wish you could. You cannot. This is the exact type of things that HGTV would never let me do. Well, because it's hard for him to get spooked in in hard. You never see him break. But this Ever. grandson's piss got him together. Um, during <laughs> do the rehearsal, talking about yeah. during the rehearsal, he's watching this guy rehearse a scene with his fake brother, mm-hmm. and he's going, you know, she's she's like fought me on the money. You know how the Jews are, and Nathan's like, he's fiercely Jewish, and he walks over, <laughs> and goes, I just have to. It's coming across that that might seem anti-Semitic, yeah. but then Nathan's like, the guy's like, well, that's how my brother would talk. And Nathan's like, well, if we're rehearsing and that's how he would talk, I guess say it. <laughs> but anti-Semitism is so crazy that people don't even, it doesn't even register. Oh yeah. 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 That that's not something you should like. It's yeah. crazy. That's one of the more insidious forms of um, prejudice. I find Jewish people make up 0.01% mm-hmm. of the, Religious population. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like the number one most. It's crazy. Hated. It's insane. It's crazy. I'm not for religion. No. But I'm also not for hating people for their religion at all. How about this? Driving home from the plaza in drag in the car, I, I was stopped at a red light behind a, a, a car whose license plate said, No religions matter in heaven. What? No religions matter in heaven. That sounds like it would be on a t-shirt at Dave and Buster's. Like, what is, like, I was like, no religions matter in heaven. It's like, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, what came like, first, heaven or religion? Like, it's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, honestly don't care about religion because what I, I don't believe in religion because what I know is that when I die, I'm going to have sex with virgins. Oh, yes. 32 you know I mean? of them? Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you talking about? I don't believe in, I don't, I'm not religious, but I know about Zenu. Like, what? <laughs> Mama, where are the taxes at? Don't don't even get me started. Sarah Silverman had a funny joke about um about priests in her late, latest stand up special. Um, you know, it's like uh, yelling at kids, screaming to them about hell, and it's like calling the police and be like, "Yeah, there's this guy and this he's wearing all black and he has this whole white thing," and it's like screaming at this kid about hell. Oh no, it's okay. Oh, also he doesn't pay taxes. You know, it's like crazy. It's like that. That's, that's the real grift and scam of the whole situation. Yeah, the financial piece. It's yeah because what if you're a store that sells like a Christian store? Are you tax exempt? No. 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 One time, when I, you remember when I did Crank Anchors? Yeah. The most scary thing I've ever done. One of the unused things they did is they had me call a Christian store. What, like what is Like that? a Christian like bookstore. Oh, okay. 
and look for a very specific type of nativity scene. I was oh, like, one where the- I was looking for one that if see it at like, um, like, do you have one with like LGBTQ representation? Like, you know, where the wise men are they them? And can I get like, you know, maybe Mary's in like a Bob Mackie gown. I'm or sure like, that did not go over well. And the thing is when they hang up on you, the director comes on and goes, you're gonna have to call him back. <gasps> You have to call these stores multiple times because it's not realistic if you just, because you have to try to keep them on the phone as long as possible. And you have to try to clown on them, but not make it so heavy handed that they pick up on it. Right. Of course. It's like the jerky boys. Yes. Mm -hmm. So like when I called that restaurant where I was looking for my eyelash, I had them crawling under tables at restaurants looking for my eyelash. Oh, I hate that. I know. I actually hate that. I hate that. I hate that. Even the Christian store, because you know, whenever I rag on conservatives, you never catch me saying fuck Christians. You hear me saying catch fuck conservatives. Yeah. Because even like some Christian lady working at a Christian store, I was like, oh God, I'm gonna have to ruin her day. Well, my mom (sighs) was Christian up until she, you know, like uh, was converted to Catholicism. My Uh mom's the nicest person in the world, you know? So not all Christians are horrible, but Christianity as a thing is- not all. Atheists are great flawed. people. Same way, not all religious people are yes. bad people. But like, I, oh, I don't like that. Hey, girl, oh, I don't like that. M- Mary, they had me I call a like big that. and tall store. Oh, and you're you're you and were... say that I was coming in with my husband who's under four feet, and I was asking them to make accommodations. I said, "Can you just take some of the shorts and put them in the pants section?" Oh my god! What did they, did they and catch I asked on? Asked him if they quick? could lower the doorway so that he can hit his head and say "ow." Oh my god! I was writing this shit. I don't know. Was and it? then I said, girl, this is so crazy. I'm talking to the guy in the front desk and I go, you know, he's also, you know, a shorter guy and he has a kind of a higher voice and you have a deep voice, sir. Do you think you could change your voice when he's in the store? He gets really intimidated. I said, can you be like, hello, hello? And he was like, yeah. And I said, can you do it now? And the guy was like, hi, hello. <laughs> oh, Crank, Crank Gangers is So is that domestic the one where terrorism. they make you um, into a puppet or something? Yeah, they make you into oh, a puppet. Wow. So there's like a warehouse of puppets who've all anybody who's been on the show and i guess there's one of me now somewhere but Damn. It, I, I was so scared Don't crank calling crank. people is very scary I it's know. so much scarier than live performance i've never i've never we've done crank calling prank calling it but it was always they answer the phone you say fuck her right in the pussy and you hang up that's easy why no but that's like having the to start it like no. how's your day yeah no. it's good just anyway i'm kind of looking for something specific like trying to make oh. it real the and, jerky, not, and not going so hard that they hang up. Yeah. The jerky boys used to do this gay character. They were like, um, there's, I like to shove furnitures up my ass. And it was so funny to me. Like, oh, it's so amazing. Funny. But like, I'm looking back and I'm like, there's so much gay humor, like so much humor at the expense of gay people, especially like Mary in, in the East coast for some reason, queer. She, Sarah Sullivan talks about it in her special too. It was like fucking queers, queers. Like that was like, there's so many horrible, like, and we just did it. You know, I knew I was gay, but yeah. I did it anyway. Of course. You know, I, I watched Reno 911 from the beginning last year. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of gay humor. I forget his name, but the gentleman on roller skates uh, in that uh, show. Lieutenant Dangle? No, not Lieutenant Dangle. That's gay, but he's playing it very um, straight. Uh-huh. He plays it like if you're not paying attention. Thomas you, Lennon, is that Thomas Lennon? Yes. Yeah. Pa- ta- Patrick Thomas Lennon, I think. Thomas Patrick Lennon? Maybe that's what it is. Nick Swartzen plays okay. a character who's a prostitute who's always on like a male skates. prostitute. Yeah, where the police are like, "What happened here tonight?" He's like, "I was murdered." <laughs> like he plays it like that heavy. <laughs> where they're like, "You out here hooking tonight?" He's like, "No, I'm just giving massages with my mouth." Like, <laughs> I know it's horrible, but no, I, I love it. I don't think it's horrible. It. I think it's so funny. I love it. <laughs> Nick Swartzen, <laughs> and honestly. Not to be whatever. That was probably my, some of my first exposure to like a gay character. Wait a minute. Hold on. I got to show you something. A tweaker prostitute on roller skates. It's being like, so funny. Hey, big boy. But like, it's true I love though. That. I, I know her. Yeah, you know what I mean? I've been her. Yeah, I've been her. I've never been to me, but I've been to her. <laughs> but I have known many people on the bar stools of Jacques Cabaret like that. Oh, yeah. Like old bar fly fags. Yeah, with like, like rings. Yeah, rings. Uh, even like a um, an ascot sometimes, even though they haven't paid their rent in the last three months. Yeah. It's like crazy. Well, you know, Oh Honey was based on someone in our life that we know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't think he knows that. Oh, of course. Oh, and of I course, don't think he knows. But there's a million of him. But one time he was like, oh, honey, oh, honey, who do I sound like? And I was like, you don't even know that I'm doing you. <laughs> I've been doing and I you. I think he knows now then. I don't think he knows. No. I don't think he knows. I ran into Scott Thompson at that Netflix so thing. So funny. And he loves uh, and he loves oh you and God. I. And he was so nice. He was like, he was like, you got to hold on to that. He was like, that friendship you have one in a lifetime. He's like, you gotta hold on to it. He's like, I've worked with so many people where we let things go sour. 
you got to hold on to it. Wow, that's really deep. That's really poignant. Yeah, he was very nice. Did, was him. he? Did he stick two fingers in your hole? Three. And swirl him. Okay, swirl three. Him. Yeah, yeah, he was fucking me, and so he, well, <laughs> I was fucking his mother, and he was what? Yeah, but she wasn't alive. She spread them lips. But <laughs> yeah, I clipped him off so I could take him on the go. I love. Well, gay is fun. Gay is great. It's gay pride still. Don't look at me. I'm dead. Love <laughs> shit like that. Is he gay? Scott Thompson? No, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Nick Swartzen or whatever. Nick Swartzen? No. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah, even that's better. Yeah. Well, it's hard because it's like a gay, a straight person can play gay, but oftentimes a, a gay person cannot play straight convincingly if the person like, I don't know, let's just say me, for example, it'd be hard to modulate my voice in a way that wasn't cartoonishly over, um, overcompensating for my Right. Like we're, voice. we're not casting Ross Matthews yeah. as Romeo. Right, right, right. Like, Hi, Brian. Uh, would you like to come back and watch me fuck my wife to right. completion? Stick my dick in her pussy, and then I'll demand that she makes me eggnog later. Some like, is that like straight? S- do straight men want eggnog? <laughs> well, it's the holidays. After I fuck her in the pussy, I love to have a nice eggnog. It's the holidays, and I need to unwind. <laughs> Isn't unwind? I'm going to fuck a mug of eggnog. No, I'm my straight. wife, Sharon. Is that straight? When I fuck my wife in the pussy, I use eggnog as lube. No lube. She's wet from yeah. being attracted she's to me. She's always ovulated when we got the eggs out. Ew. But, uh, but you know, that's not really in the cards for me. Some people do. I mean, uh, 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 Cheyenne Jackson can. But he's I not. just yes, almost said I know, him. I know. Extra, extra. Well, you but, know, I bumped into him at the Ben and Jinx holiday show. And he was seated in front of me. And I started vibrating. I bumped into him almost literally at 8,000 sunset. He's very tall. He's gorgeous. Shocking blue eyes. Absolutely stunning. Shocking blue eyes. High cheekbones, full lips, like great physique. Like a movie star. A beauty. A movie star. And he was like, he, I was like looking down my headphone, whatever. I kind of like, and then I look up and he s- introduces himself to me as a fan of oh. me oh. Uh, and of us and was so nice. And I was so like, Dist- I was so like I was um, what disturbed. do you call that disturbed? But it was um, speechless. Speechless, Isn't that nice because he was so the the, the, the eyes. He's gorgeous. The and shocking, he's tall shocking and nice. Guy. And you know why I freaked out? Why? Because he had his hard well, dick hanging out of his of dungarees. Him in Xanadu. Oh. I've seen him in American Horror Story. I yeah. loved him in Apocalypse when he played one of the warlocks. Uh-huh. I love him in everything. He's so because he's good to look at. He's a good actor. Great. He was hooded justice in Watchmen, and so I grabbed him and said. That's you got right. to play Hooded Justice. You've played a superhero from the biggest graphic novel of all time. Was he and fucking he was just, the guy? He was, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. I yanked it no, to that scene. No, he isn't. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, there's a scene where the, he's the, fucking someone in American Hero, hero Story. In the, yeah, in the, in the show. In on the, the show, show. In the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's so beautiful. And I'm like, and when they, oh, my biggest regret is I didn't buy anything from that auction. But one of the costumes they were selling was Hooded Justice. Why didn't you buy him? But now Hooded Justice is black in the lore. So I feel mm. weird. Dressing, if I was going to go for Halloween oh, as a yeah. black guy with white eye makeup. But like, you are from the Brewster Projects, though. That's right. I'm from the Brewster <laughs> Projects, apparently. So, but we- <laughs> I hope I don't get in trouble for that story, but I think it's pretty harmless. No, I no, was, no. It's it was a just, mistake. It's a big mistake. It's a big it was mistake. Like, huge, huge, huge. It's like any drag mistake where you're like, put on track 12 and you're in your gown and you think it's the greatest loves of all. And it's, get and on it's up, all your ladies drop, up. y'all pussy like yes, this. Yes. And you're like, oh yeah. shit. Fuck. Yeah. I gotta like Next turn track. around. Yeah, turn Next around. Next track. It's crazy. Nothing better than a man in a wig poking out behind a curtain and screaming Next track. But but see, that's the nature of drag. See, the problem is the disconnect happens when you take drag to this Radio City level. You can't have CD skipping. No, you can't. <laughs> you can't. At the plaza. You you can you know what I mean? A we, just, we just need to get famous enough that like if we want to do Lizzo Juice, we book her to sing it off stage. Exactly. Yeah. We have to get that rich. Lizzo, would you ever come to one of our shows where you sing live and we lip sync? What about MC? You like Mariah Carey? I just saw Escher? clips of her. <laughs> Love MC Escher. Love Magic Eye. Magic Eye. I noticed you didn't have a Magic Eye poster framed up in this condo, and I wondered why. <laughs> you know Do what? You remember With enough that? edibles. Do you remember everything's that? Magic Eye? <laughs> yeah, Magic Eye. Girl checking out books in the library. Magic Eye. Kids in kids in elementary school with a book literally this close to their face. But do you remember the moment where you learned how to do it? Do you remember the how moment? How does it work? So you. I remember it's in the kiosks in the mall. The kiosks in the mall would have them. 
and it looks like a bunch of just like blurbs blurbs and then all of a sudden you let your eyes kind of unfocus or a little cross slightly yeah and then you it, <laughs> it's like when the mom <laughs> When you're at the mall, <laughs> and <you're, laughs> it's a version. It's like on the a gateway to gooning. <laughs> Magic Eye was the OG gooning. Yes, it like, was guys at home on Pornhub looking at books this close to their yeah, face. But wait, you have to like you don't look at. It's not that far. It's like that monitor. It's like you just kind of. And you, it just kind of. I my eyes crossed a little bit. Yeah, and I, it was magical. A Magic Eye. Yeah, because a lot of people have a slight. Wild eye, I do, or a slight cross eye, I do, or sometimes just when they're driving or just when they're focusing, yeah, or some people just when they're drunk, one eye will, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've definitely known people with wandering eyes, yeah, you know, um, sisters, not or relative the cousins, girls. cousins, um, but I, I often appear cross eyed in photos, often. I often. think a lot of people are a little cross eyed, we just don't often. notice, yeah. I mean, lack of symmetry, Jesus Christ, Mary, we're not all Anya Taylor Joy, let's just say that. My face looks like, you remember that exercise in elementary school where you fold a paper in thirds and each person draws a part of it? And then oh, you exquisite open, corpse, it's And called. then you open it and go, oh, isn't that funny? Yeah. These two halves. <laughs> this is by Jesus. This is by Allah. <laughs> this part of my head is Zenu. The body is Bo- uh, Mor- pa- the Book of Mormon. Papa Shango. I don't know. <laughs> Papa Shango. The wrestler. <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought like, I don't know. Papa Shango. Everybody's hurt you're contributing. It's a bu- it's a buffet. It's a potluck. Okay, wait, wait. Mary fuck kill. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, Jean Claude Van Damme. You, I think you marry Stallone. You fuck Schwarzenegger. No and wait. You, you fuck D- Van Damme. You marry Stallone. I think you kill Schwarzenegger. Isn't that horrible? I don't think so. I don't think it's horrible. Van, you have it's, to, you have to kill somebody. You have to fuck Van Damme. Okay. You have to fuck Van Damme, right? I I agree. Bloodsport. I agree. I just, I just literally jerked off to the three second clip of him showing his butt in that movie the other day. Exactly. And then you marry Stallone. I think Stallone would be like fun. Well, Stallone, right? Is Stallone, hey, like I don't know. I think he's probably very Italian. I just watched the 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 three three episode documentary on Arnold on Netflix. Uh huh. Gobbled it up. Like he's gobbled, amazing. Gobbled it up. I mean, crazy. You so know, he basically riveting. he basically popularized the um like pyramid style uh repetitions where you do like. Uh, less reps at more weight, and then each time you do a set, you do less weights but more reps. Like he invented that ladder, not invented it, but popularized like laddering. Oh, interesting! I didn't. Isn't that interesting? It's fascinating because well, I mean, you look at him. Do you think I'm gross if I think he was quite the beauty when he was younger? Are you out of your mind? Well, you know how some people are no, no, like, no, I don't, I don't like that muscly. But he was he was a beast. He was so tall. He was so huge. Yeah, it was so crazy. But like his achievements, like are so nuts. Did you like, like him in the Terminator, the newest one? The, I didn't see the newest. Oh, no, 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 I did. He's in it as an older man. He's like the Terminator and he's it. married and I don't think his wife knows he's a robot. Oh, I did see it. I think yeah. I enjoyed it. I liked it too because there's a young girl Terminator who's uh-huh. like the new model and she's young and blonde. Is she, what Remember did she T3, do? the one with the fierce one with the ponytail? Uh, that that bitch was that's that for was, the gays. That was, for, that was so gay coded. Yeah. That and was the diva. And it's um not Diane Lane. Um, um uh, um, from my so-called life Claire, Claire Danes. Danes Claire Danes Claire Danes I remember when so the second one was when, with the liquid that's when the liquid started to happen the second one is sickening it was sickening and then the third one was the girl Sarah right? the second one is Sarah Connor like getting out of prison I think uh-huh. and then and, and, well, they're all great they're amazing Um, but uh, Stallone I, I, cry, I cry when he gets lowered into the lava oh that's right I did too it's I love that in the second one he became a hero. I love that shit. Flip the script on me. Yeah. When bad people become good, I'd like nut for that shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, because the whole first movie he's, the, he's trying to kill them. Yeah. I'll be back, and then he just like. But came, isn't he trying to kill them to save the human race? Let him kill you. He's he's from the future. So I don't know. Oh, for the future. From but the isn't future. he like? Hey, in the future, uh, animals. Or, uh, in the future, humans get enslaved by robots. Mm-hmm. Would you like to stop that by dying? Don't you say yes? I thought it was I thought it was the other way around. Like she was the one who saves them from enslavement, so she has to be killed. Oh. Cuz he's the robot. I think, I think that's, you're right. Yeah, she's the savior or she gives birth to the savior. She gives birth to her, the savior yeah. who frees the human beings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why he's trying to kill that's her. That's why he's trying to kill her, yeah. I didn't know about that. Some, maybe that's wrong. But the point is, he's hot and sexy. And yes, in 1974, as Mr. Mister Universe, I would have climbed him like a fucking redwood tree and sucked the sap out of him. Yeah. Like a fucking... Lately, I'm very interested in seeing dicks. Really? Rather than... 
<laughs> hearing about well them. let's say whether or not i'm attracted to someone if someone's like oh yeah andy has a huge dick i'm like you have a picture oh or i'm you, like okay. do you think he would just rip it out we don't have to sex but I'm like i'll see it now what's your what's your opinion on flaccid penis fine i'm not it's fine i, I think know being asked. erect at all times is inappropriate <laughs> so i'm not so gay that i'm like he took his cock out it was soft gross <laughs> like what is that that's buddy cool yeah <laughs> Because I can get a dick hard. Soft serve ice cream, I'll go to Dairy Queen. Yeah, if I wanted something <laughs> soft, I'd go home and lay my head on a pillow, bitch. <laughs> like, I don't think, I don't think, I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. So, <laughs> oh my God, it was so soft in my hand. It was like holding a fucking, holding a handful of old pastrami. <laughs> a big noodle. <laughs> a big, big noodle. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my God. You know what else? I love when, was the original I, question. I know we want straight people to, we want gay people to play gay people, I guess. I don't, no, 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 I don't, no, no, no. I don't feel no, that no, way. We want, we want everybody to have, we want equal opportunity for there to be no prejudice within the industry. Right. Like if Stanley Tucci has to stop playing gay people, I'll kill myself. <laughs> right. Right. Like right, I right. need Stanley Tucci's portrayal of yeah, gay people. Right. It, it's important to me. Well, they told Arnold, he was like, he struggled for years trying to break into the film industry because they said, first of all, you're too big and you can't speak English, <laughs> which is a problem. Your accent's too thick. Isn't he... Swiss? He became a leading man, Austrian. Austrian. Became a leading man, twenty, thirty million dollars a picture. Leading man. He's good. I'm he's sorry. Crazy. He's good in Jingle All the Way. Everybody can eat my ass. How about fucking kindergarten cop girl? Bitch. Twins. Twins. Hello. Hana. True lies. Girl. Jamie True Lee. Lies. True Jamie lies. Jamie Lee. Tango with the with the rose. You fucking bitch. True you lies. Fucking fat he is bitch. so funny. Yeah, he's so funny. Um, what's his what's uh Roseanne Barr's ex husband? Um, Arnold. Tom, Ar Tom Arnold. Tom Arnold. So Tom good. Tom Arnold. So Jamie good. Jamie Lee Curtis. So good. Tia Carrera. Tia Carrera. The villain. She's such a good villain. When she's in a fight in the limo where the driver's been shot and they're just careening down the, the bridge. I don't remember that part. That's amazing. At the end, the driver's been shot and the bridge is out and the 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 um limo is just flying. It's gonna drive off. Mm -hmm. And they're fighting in the limo. And he gets lifted. She, he lifts his wife out of the limo, and the limo crashes with Tia Carrera. Tia Carrera Incredible. is she eats. a hot bitch. She is. I got to work world? with her. I got to work with her. You know, AJ and the Queen. She was on set the same day I was. We didn't have any scenes together, obviously. Did you say hi? I did. She was so nice, so fabulous. Was she just unbelievably beautiful? She looked the same. Crazy. So good. When, when she sings Ballroom Blitz in Wayne's World, she's so great. I, I'm not she's traditionally so great. into girls, but. My God, is she sexy? Yeah, she's just, in the bangs singing. And, I told you, I've seen that seven times in the theater, Wayne's World, seven times good. in the theater. It's so good. And Dana then Carvey, so good. Kim Basinger is as David Dana Carvey. The second um, one in the second one, right? Yeah, Laura Flynn Boyle as the the she's like in love with Wayne, I think, with she, the neck brace, yeah, the back brace. She's so crazy, so crazy. She but, loves me, and she buys him a gun rack <laughs> as a gift. <laughs> and he has to explain to her that it's a bad. And she's like, you know what, Wayne? If you're not careful, you're gonna lose me. <laughs> Wait, wait, have you ever seen Big Top Pee Wee? Of course. Do you know when Penel Pen uh, Penelope Ann Miller is like, I made your favorite sandwich. And he guesses every single sandwich that you could possibly um, make besides egg salad. And egg salad is what she made him. And she makes him eat it. And he hates it so much. And I think about that scene all the time. It's an amazing movie. <laughs> Pitching it like, what if his bike gets stolen? No, that's, 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 that's Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Big well, Top Pee Wee is, is, is the circus. It's much less good. It is. It's much less good, but it features Valeria Galino. Valeria Galino, an Italian actress who was supposed to be, uh, she was supposed to be Pretty Woman. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then Miss Julia came Miss through. Miss Julia snatched it right out of her. Yeah. Do you think it still would have been a good movie without Julia? I think, I, I do. You yeah. do? But Julia, I mean, come on. I've never seen Pretty Woman. Never seen Pretty Woman. Beautiful, Beautiful lady. lady. Damn, you've got to see it. We should be doing that on Netflix live. Beautiful lady. Yeah, totally. P pretty woman. I mean, it's like it's so crazy. It's so good. Yeah. Anyways, you should have Peaches do a stage version for you, pretty beautiful pretty lady woman. Yeah, beautiful lady. Beautiful lady. <laughs> Come see our show, beautiful lady. Okay. Um, well, in that, so wait. Uh, anything to promote? Of course. Do it. Um. Oh, I, I have a joy to share. <laughs> I have a gratitude to share here on the pod. Okay. Um, I have gotten to be on a lot of music charts, and I this was my first time being on the dance charts. Very oh my fun god! And cool. Oh, let's hit, give it a round Looking of applause. Good, feeling gorgeous. Number one on the charts. Number one on the dance chart, honey. I'm right up there with Erica Jane now. Oh, 
<laughs> Eric Jane now. Yeah. yeah. Eric Jane then. Post conviction. Uh, you wait, you were electronic charts. I was all music actually. <laughs> yeah, worldwide music, pop and hip hop. You gotta do more music. No, I don't. Give the people what they don't, don't want. want. <laughs> Give the people what they haven't asked for. Yeah, 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 yeah. Force things upon the people that they do not wish to hear. I've learned in all the, and granted I switch, I switch genres here and there, yeah. but I've noticed that no matter what type of music I do, the write-ups say country music musician, Trixie Mattel. Right, does uh, pulse pounding, dance thumping, hip hop uh, beat. Yeah, yeah. bottom bar anthem. burner, uh, bar mitzvah blaster. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no matter what you do, you are country forever, which is fine. Love country, yeehaw. Yeah, yeehaw. He smashed my keys into the side of his little, little stooped up four wheel drive, carved my name into his middle seat. I took a Louisville slugger to both my thighs, banged my chicken into his eyes. Maybe next time he'll think before he skeets. Maybe next time she'll <laughs> think before she queefs. <laughs> Maybe she, next time she'll, she'll think, think before, before she, she skeets. skeets. Before she skeets. <laughs> yeah. Brandon yeah. calls the meet and greet the skeeting freak. He shoved his dong into my puss. <laughs> Can I actually promote? Yes. We have, if you like Bald and the Beautiful, we have yeah. many live dates coming Oh, yeah, we do have up. live dates coming up. All over the country. And they're fun. We're, we're going to Minneapolis. Oh, yeah. I think we're doing Boston. I think we're going everywhere, honey. We're going to go everywhere if you want to see the country, pod live. I bet. And let's just set the tone. It's us sitting and talking. No, it's fun so though. So don't come and expect hot dancers. Oh no, 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 no! But they no know Kelly that. Mantle. No good. No good performances. It's not it's, a goon. It's not goon town. No, it's chatting. It's it's listen and learn. It's listening. Because sometimes when we don't listen, we don't learn. And on that note, goodbye. Bye. <laughs>